characters. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Can't do that too many times. I'm afraid now, my voice Nancy. might go up. Oh, Bob England. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, man. I miss him as, as Freddy Krueger. Me too. Uh, but what are you going to do? Age, age takes its toll on everybody. He said he'd be down to do it at least one more time, so I'm hoping he does at some point. Hey, uh, get Wes Craven back to... Oh, that's right. Yeah. It's sad. I get mean, Jordan Peele to direct it. I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that. I don't I don't think that Jack Yale, Earl Haley was a bad pick. That movie, no, that movie no, no. just didn't quite... Well, the guy who directed it is not a good, is not a good director. Didn't quite cut it. No. Oh Pretty my bad. god! Pretty bad. But uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to yet another episode of Renegades React. We are doing finally the uh, epic rap battles of history. We are. Uh, we were uh, actually going to do this. Uh, I wanted to do this with Micah because you know it's yeah you know, it's kind of a, a thing for him to be here for uh, for epic rap battles and all that and. <sighs> it's just, it's been a long time since we we got to do one of these. It's just, I guess it's the first one I've been here for, on. isn't it? Yeah, Lloyd, what happened? Gosh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow, Micah throwing shade at Lloyd. Kidding. No, we he's, love you, no Lloyd. he's super cool. Yeah, we love you, Lloyd. Apparently he knows we're alive, so that's a thing. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that is weird. Uh, but we aren't living in his attic anymore. Right. So that's that's a, that's one that's thing. important. It's yeah, a, it's that, a, that was a running joke from. So uh, it's a much more Epic appropriate Studios. and consensual relationship now. Yeah, it was when we were watching Epic Studios. That was a, a miniseries that Lloyd was doing on his channel. Very funny, by the way, and you all should check it out. And you know what else you all should check out? You all should check out Epic Rap Battles of History's Patreon. Uh, I think it's Patreon slash, uh, dot com slash ERB, I believe is what it is. Uh, so, actually, let's... let's Actually, I want to make doubly sure on that. <laughs> support getting more rap battles made, man. Oh, yeah. Always. And also, you can support probably two of my favorite, uh, yeah, patreon.com slash ER. While he's checking on that, I'll just say that I'm pretty sure this is the first yep, one of these I've been here are. to react Page- to, but I've been a fan of them for <laughs> longer than I've been here at the Renegades, so. So, yeah. Pa- I've seen basically all of the <laughs> rap battles and, uh, like, some of his diss raps for hire and stuff like that as well. I gotta oh, say, yeah. his, his stuff Epic is consistently stuff. good. I loved yeah. Epic Studios. That was pretty funny. I'm not yeah. even a huge rap fan, but, like, I love all of Oh, neither am I, but, like, yeah, his stuff is cool. Oh, yeah. And, um, and well, tonight is a very a very interesting night for us because uh, by the time you're watching this, uh, we'll have watched uh, Avengers Endgame, which, holy crap, whatever happens, we'll probably do a live stream of our post, like, post-reaction. No spoilers. We're going to keep it spoiler-free as we can. Well, we're going to do our best. Like, I mean... The Emotions power, are going to be running. The power could go out. We could just be sitting in a dark theater, just, you know. Yeah, you never know. Uh, but That would be horrible. Oh, that would just, uh, that'd be the worst night ever. Hopefully they would refund <coughs> tickets if something like that happened. Oh, yeah. Back. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd hope, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. Uh, but speaking of crazy things, uh, Epic Rap Battles of History is back, and uh, they do have a Patreon, so if you want more Epic Rap Battles of History... And you want them to have, or to you want them to be really, really good, to have the best quality and all that. Support Epic Rap Battles of History, guys. I mean, they're independent now. They're finally free from the crux of Maker Studios and uh, and Disney, and they are now doing their own thing. And I can respect that. Much like us getting uh, getting cut out from under full screen, which it's certainly a trend, it seems. Yeah, I mean, Defy Media, same thing. Defy media, the whole situation with them. That's oh gosh, that's that's one reason why we're not getting any more Man at Arms. Oh, one reason why we're not getting a bunch of shows that we like. Indeed, uh, can't have everything, but we can have this, and I'm glad that we still have this. Epic rap battles of history, and uh, let's get the video on screen. Let me get it popped up here. There it is, and let us get the video maximized. Like Wolverine's okay, but I kind of hope. The man of my dreams okay, crushes Okay, so yeah, that's actually something we, we used to do in the past as well. We used to predict who we think would win. So, um, I'm going to say because of... I, I love Freddy Krueger, but me, because of just how much he's got to go off of, 
and also the fact that he is actually he's probably harder to kill than Freddy Krueger. I'd probably say I'm, I'm my votes with Wolverine. Um. I mean, as far as this goes, like you're talking about a guy that literally like climbs into people's dreams and kind of acts out their worst nightmares. So it's like, I feel like he has a lot more material than the stick bub. I mean, because he's like Wolverine true, in a true. fight. Wolverine is intimidating, but in a battle of words, <coughs> he just growls a lot. So I mean, you know, I feel yeah. like as far as rap battles uh, go, no, he growls a lot and says bub. Yeah, I mean, you know, so it's like. Uh, I don't really know about the being harder to kill than Freddy Krueger because Freddy Krueger's already dead. Well, that's true. And, but uh, they have pulled him out of dreams and killed him before. Temporarily, yeah. I don't think they've ever permanently ended him. This is true. Um, this and, is very uh, true. And he's kind of like, you know, if you try to think of Marvel characters you think that could possibly, like, stand a chance against Wolverine, like, one of them might be Deadpool just because of how hard he is to kill. And I feel like they, Freddy Krueger they've gone up and Deadpool against each other are several similar times. levels of, like, hard to kill. Yeah, they've gone up against each other several times, and every time it's always it's always pretty much ended the exact same way. Both of them pretty much just being like, we can't kill each other. Let's just let's just go have a beer. Yeah. We're both Canadian. That's that. Also, Canadians out there saying you don't have proper representation with superheroes. You got Wolverine and you got Deadpool. What else do you need? They're pretty hot right now. <laughs> but plus I have a t-shirt with Freddy on it but I don't have a t-shirt with Wolverine on it so my vote Fair is enough. Freddy Fair enough Okay so uh, me going Wolverine you going Freddy and you going Freddy Okay let's see what happens Freddy Krueger versus Wolverine Epic rock battle first <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> Wolverine That's cool Hell yeah. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your, lock your, lock your, lock your. Welcome to prime time, bitch. Better stay awake like a meth head. Spread red on your bed, spread to your lying there in your deathbed. You got a healing factor? I gotta kill bitches on the ceiling factor. Under that mattress. <laughs> Damn. Under my skin, I'm a slasher, slash, slasher. Bitch. I come from West Craven's twisted mind. You come from comic books the kids get when they're well behaved at Christmas time. Fuck them, jiggles and bum. They want their hairstyle to turn. And that was like my main dish. It was just a side. I love bub, but I'm real from bones to keep. And that claw's like a strap on. There's a pussy underneath. <laughs> That's all you got for me. Could defeat your ass with a cup of tea. And then you hell it back and whoops like ass. You got beat by a nasty on Elm Street. Huh? You want to talk about burns, Mac? The BTA turned your face into Deadpool's ball sack. Wrapped in a where's Waldo sweater. Dicks you can't talk and he rocks the mic better. So step into my cat now. See if you can hack that. Better hang on to your whack hat. Cause your worst nightmare ain't you jack shit compared to the least of my weapon. That's flashback. On the Anamantia champion X-Man. You'll only ever be half a bed with scissor hands. So don't get me more pissed cup. I'll take your whole franchise out with a fist bump. Look at the size of your body. How could I possibly think I'm in trouble? I can't tell the difference between your action figure and your stunt trouble. What's the matter? You look tired, eh? I'll be in your bed tonight, I'm like Team Ray. As for oh. me, I'm a shit bag. Heavy metal bitches are real attractive. What the fuck is a Wolverine? I'm kind of an angry beaver. I was more intimidated by a tiny Canadian the first time I saw Justin Bieber. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, 
<laughs> well, that one was good. For me, the one that got me with, with the one that I liked from Wolverine was the R. Kelly jab. Yeah. You're a pedophile was... from the Midwest. At least R. Kelly could sing. Yeah, that was woof. Yeah, Freddy Krueger could be a pretty rad death metal vocalist. Oh, no. I, I have no <laughs> doubt about it. Except all of his verses would end with bitch. Pretty much. It's like, it's like, dragging you to hell, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was pretty close. The When Freddy came out, I wasn't, I was worried a little bit because uh, like Wolverine's first turn, I was like, man. That was pretty good. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm. I'm still sticking with with my pick. I I still think Wolverine got got the better of him. Although, in the okay. I don't know now. I'm thinking. I'm thinking more and more about it. It also usually feels like the uh, one with the last verse has yeah. the last word and therefore has a little right. bit of a bonus, like in terms of like winning the battle but. that is true yeah oh oh look there we are i forgot look at look we're uh oh, forgot we, we were supporting yeah we're supporting them so Hell yeah there we are yay famous not really, not really. Not really. <coughs> but if you all want to see your names on this list by uh by the next battle uh, i think they update it every every time they put out a new one so if you want to be on on this i mean there's there's you, you can do that up to you but uh for uh but i oh actually i I didn't people didn't see that let me let me bring that up if you want your name next to the potato guy right there right there 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 we are yay it's the renegades it's us so um (laughs) yeah we gladly i'm gladly support epic rap battles of history because these guys always put out really good stuff and this was actually a really good battle i liked it I like the beat too. It it gave off like that really creepy scent, that like really creepiness that Freddy's known for, especially at the beginning. Oh yeah, I feel like Lloyd's gonna get a lot of mileage out of that Wolverine suit too. Oh dude, he looked jacked. Like you, you saw his arms. He was just like he was like like what's up? <laughs> I work out, bub. Yeah. So okay, I, I just love the Freddy like at the beginning like. Scraping the claws along the bottom. Of the that screen. was awesome. That, <laughs> like, that's good, a good, spe- good special effects work there. Just, just Freddy hanging out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all, I'm all about this, man. I'm all about seeing more of this. I want more of this. I cannot wait to see what else they're going to come up with uh, this season. I haven't lost it. No, awesome. they still have it, and <laughs> they're still getting. And also, you talk about a long running series. I mean, like they. They keep coming back, and it's consistent. I mean, well, yeah, yeah. and not only that. Dig this; uh, they've they've done this while also balancing their lives. Because Lloyd, you know, Lloyd's wanted to move on to other projects and stuff like that. Did Epic Studios, <coughs> did uh, <coughs> did raps on his own channel and everything, and it turned out really well. Yeah. And then you have uh, Peter. Peter actually uh, just had a baby, baby girl. Congratulations, Peter. Right. And. Um, yeah, I hope everything's going well with her and everything, and I hope that she, uh, I hope that, you know, she grows up and sees the uh, the work that her uh, daddy's put forward, and uh, I think it's awesome. So, um, he okay. Explain. Don't say those words at school, though. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. But, um, guys, um, actually, I'm probably gonna change my pick, uh, my or my pick for who I think won. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably leaning towards more Freddy now because thinking back on it on the battle, you know the battle portion of it, you know Wolverine was ready to go and fight and everything, but from what it looked like he was still in the dream at the end of it with Freddy creeping out of the wall behind yeah, him. He was like walking across the bed, really small. And stuff. Yeah, and and I don't know. I'm it's more it's I'm le- I'm leaning more towards Freddy now, but. You, I, could, I may go back to seeing this as a toss-up later on. I'm, I'll have to come back and watch this again to re, to really confirm where I stand with it. They occasionally do sequel battles, too, so this is one that I would be totally cool with it being... Uh, well, they they've, only done that with, uh, they've only done that with uh, uh, Hitler and... Uh, Vader. Yeah. Which... I hope they did one <laughs> other one like that, too, but maybe, <clears throat> maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, they, they had one where uh, Abraham Lincoln came back multiple times. Yeah. 
I remember that. He came back uh, during Obama versus uh, Romney, and he also yeah. came back during. Uh, so that was like uh, one of my Trump favorite verses ever. Is like I'll properly reach across the aisle and bitch smack you both as equals of the people, by the people, for the people. Eagle! Eagle! <laughs> takes off, flies me. away. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. So uh, let's actually hold on. Let me let me look at something real quick on the in the video. Uh, let's see. See if they got anything after credits. Nope, no after credits. Okay. Uh, there was a lot of time left there. I wasn't sure if they had an after credits thing or something like that. Oh, boy. Yeah, this was good. This was really, 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 really good. I cannot wait to see what else they're going to do this season. And, damn. What a hell of a way to come back, to. I mean, using Freddy Krueger... And Wolverine. I mean, because those two right there, I mean, one is a horror icon and has probably one of the most synonymous uh, weapons used, you know, the, the knife glove. Yeah. And then you have Wolverine, arguably the most popular comic book hero out there. I mean, in terms of Marvel, I'd say he is probably the most popular. Um... I'd say he rivals Batman in a lot of ways. I think he might have used to be the most popular... Like before the MCU, but I feel like Iron Man and Captain America have grown a lot from the MCU. Yeah, fair well. enough, fair enough. But, I mean, to me, Wolverine will always be one of my one of my top favorite uh, comic book heroes ever. Yeah. Like when I think of like main Marvel like faces, it's definitely Wolverine, Captain America, Iron Man, basically. You know? Yeah, and Fred Krueger. I mean, he's one of the big four. I mean. Yeah. You know, Fred Krueger, Michael Myers, Jason Reeves, and Leatherface. Leatherface, yeah. Yes. I mean, those are the big four that really started the whole thing. I mean, you have you have, well, Leatherface was first, mm. <clears throat> and then you had Jay, or and then you had Michael, then you had Jason, then you had Freddy. Freddy was the last in the door, but I'd say he's probably left probably one of the bigger impacts because uh, just how inventive of how he kills people. Yeah, he's just the most unique. Yeah. I mean, he's like he's Jason's, literally a dream demon. Jason's probably the second most unique, but he still kills people within the limits of the physical realms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and... God. Whereas, like, Freddy turns into giant demon worms and devours people. <laughs> yeah, or... <laughs> and just goes inside of them and, like, takes control of them. Turns his fingers into syringes. And... Oh, yeah. I gotta Ugh. say that the ceiling thing, that was a really cool one. Yeah, and... I, or they, like, build a whole room that, like, spun or whatever for that effect. Didn't we watch that on Dead Meat? Yeah, yeah, and you could actually see, like, at the end, it tilted a little bit, and, and the blood the floated like, to one side by accident, and they kept it in because it looked even creepier. Yeah. yeah. And it did. I was like, oh, man. Johnny Johnny Depp. All that blood came from Johnny Depp. That Think about a, that. That was an intense scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very intense. And, God, I can't... Actually, like, both Johnny Depp and... Um, What's your face? Like both of those were awesome scenes for the time. Uh, Just both the blood geyser and like the smeared across the ceiling death and dropped onto the bed. Death. Oh yeah, the the one girl, the blonde girl. Yeah, I forget her name. Yeah, I can't remember what her actress's name was or what her name is. But, but still, I it, okay. We're getting off topic yeah. again. <clears throat> we need to end this video. But before we end this video, we really want to encourage you once again to check out Epic Rap Battles of History's Patreon. I mean, guys, what else can I say? I mean, these guys are putting out awesome content like this, and you have a direct way to support them to make sure that the vi these can get made at a good pace and that they can make whatever they want now, now that they don't have to bow down to, to you know, the Almighty Maker Studios anymore, which... Glad for you guys. Really am. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it. So, uh, signing off, I'm Nate. Micah. I'm Nick. And uh, before we leave, once again, if you want to check out our Patreon or our Discord, uh, links are in the description. And also, if you want to leave a like and leave a comment, feel free to do that as well. So, until next time, signing off. We'll see you then. Peace out.